today we're delving into sparkling territory. I looked at my collection and I realized I only have like two or three sparkling wine cocktails and it's like, yo, I need to look out for my sparkling wine lovers. So what we're doing today is we're taking a super simple recipe and we're gonna add a nice complex. I wouldn't actually, it's not really complex, but we're gonna add a nice garnish on top to spruce it up, make it look a little fancy. I'm showing you guys how to make a banana sparkles. Let's go! Let's take a look at what you're gonna need to make this cocktail. You're gonna want creme de banana, white rum, sparkling wine, and today's glass of choice, a flute. What I like about sparkling cocktails is you don't need to shake, you don't need to stir, you just need a chilled flute and then pour everything in, you're good to go. It's like an express plan, let's go. Now, it's time to freak out with your ingredients. What you're gonna want first is half of an ounce of creme de banana, and it goes right into your flute. Half of an ounce of your white rum. Oop, spilled a little bit. Now we're gonna pop in our sparkling wine and top off the rest of our cocktail. I was expecting the worst, to be honest. Let's give this a nice pour. You just get that rich yellow. Looking fantastic, to be honest. Beautiful. Now for our garnish, what I have planned for you guys is a combo between two banana slices and a green banana skin peel. And what we're gonna do is, I don't know if you guys, yeah, you, you can see it there. We're gonna fixate the peel onto the rim of our flute and then use a mini clothespin to hold it in place. And then afterwards, we're gonna add in our banana slices. I already cut the lines in, so I just need to fixate them at the top of our flute. Oop, almost dropped it. There we go. Now we should have a nice little unique garnish for our banana cocktail. If you can find a better, oh my goodness. If you can find a better um, banana skin peel, be my guest. Um, but you'd be hard pressed to find one that doesn't turn or have like a slight blotch on it. But it doesn't matter. It makes the cocktail look so much better adding that greenery. The original recipe doesn't actually have any garnishes, so. And just like that, our banana sparkles is complete. Now it's time for a taste rating to see just what we're dealing with. Let's get the skin off. Uh, drop it right there. Uh, you know what? I'll eat these garnishes. Mm. I'll drink some water to reset my taste buds. Okay, banana sparkles taste test. Let's get it. Mmm. Ooh. Okay. There is enough creme de banana in this cocktail to give color and a slight taste of banana, but the dominant flavor in this cocktail still remains to be the sparkling wine. It looks fruity. It looks like when you drink it, it's gonna be a sweet mess. But believe me when I say, you taste that sparkling wine. And the white rum, where is that guy? Hold on. Oh. Oh, the white rum. Oh my God. <laughs> the white rum hits like, okay, so here's the thing, when you sip it, the first thing you taste is banana. And then the aftertaste is your sparkling wine, but just before that aftertaste hits, that wine just, oops, slaps you in the face. It's like you take a sip, it's like, pa, pa, pa. This is a good ass cocktail. This just has the correct amount to give a little color and a little flavor. But don't take my word for it. You take the sip and love life. You know the drill guys, if you like my videos, you like my content, hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, and tell your friends to come through and check out my brews. But I'm gonna take one more sip of this drink because I have to. And I do like the cocktail, so let's get it. Mmm. Oh. It definitely gets better with age. Like, the first few sips were like, okay. But now it's like, okay. <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, it hits a little different. Let's give it one more. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is good. 
No, this is good. But anyway, I'll see you for my next cocktail. And remember, subscribe and tell your friends and hit that notification button because I feel like you're not getting my notifications. When you get my notifications, check out my new videos, man, and tell me how you feel. Hit the comments section. Don't leave me alone.